um, when you step out of actually how that is and what it will look like. Um, let's go to 2 Kings 4. Verse 1, and the story is about Alicia, some of you may know. Uh, uh, she's a recent widow, and that, you know, she in, in those times she had no income. And she owed a lot of people money. So verse 1 says, Now the wife of the son of the man who, t who tell what will happen in the future cried out to Alicia, Elisha, Your servant, my husband, is dead. You know that your servant honored the Lord with fear, but the man to whom he owed money has come to take my two children to make them serve him. Elisha said to her, what can I do for you? Tell me, what do you have in the house? And she said, your woman servant has nothing in the house except a jar of oil. Then he said, go around and get jars from all the neighbors. Get empty jars, many of them. Then go in and shut the door behind you and your sons. Pour the oil out into all of these jars and set aside each one that is full. So she went from him and shut the door behind her and her sons. They took the jars to her and she poured. When the jars were full, she said to her sons, bring me another jar. And she said to her, there is, no, there is not one other jar. Then the oil stopped flowing. She came and told the man of God and he said, go and sell the oil and pray what you owe and pay what you owe. You and your sons can live on the rest. So God not only met her need, but he exceeded it. But she had to do what first? She had to hold faith. Mm -hmm. Not only faith that when she go out and ask for jars, that they would get jars, that she would get jars mm -hmm. in return. Mm -hmm. So a lot of the times when we out and we get hit, we take a hit because something just, something else just came up. Something on the job. Another bill that's late about to get paid. Something hits and all of a sudden we feel less oil. Yeah. We got a loss for some oil. And something else come up and we still standing in faith that we will, that something will come through. That God will come through and do what he says. And so we begin to realize that Hit after hit, we tend to be like, I just can't. I can't do it, ready to give. As it still hasn't been established yet, but we have to realize that we still have to press through. Yeah. It's even then those times that you want to get distracted and be like, well, I'm too tired to press. I'm too tired to press. I got too much going on, too much worry, and too much of this that I can't press through at this time. I don't feel like pressing through at those times. But it is in those exact moments that we have to press through the most. Yes, because we what did. we fail we might not yes, realize is that anything that has taken place in the natural has some type of tie in the spiritual. I got and our weapons that we fight with are not in the natural. We fight in the spiritual. So therefore, we only downgrade ourselves in this prostrate, in the pray, a prostrate in the fast, in the push through, in this continually study, in the spiritual, will take place, what will what battle what's taking place in the natural. And as you begin to constantly do that, over and over, you begin to stretch yourself. You go from only praying five minutes, to being able to pray 15 minutes, to being able to pray 30 minutes, you be praying an hour and they continually grow. Because when you get to the point of comfortability, where you're comfortable at, well, okay, I got this now. I got it. I'm able to take this hit now and keep going. Another hit, I can keep going. But you don't realize that. Think of it as a video game. As you conquer each level, there's another level. Another level in which you then have to learn new things, learn new avenues to counteract some of the issues that you might find. Because at the end of that level becomes, becomes what? A boss. A boss that you will then have to apply what you learned throughout that level and apply it into defeating that boss. So, as you determine to stretch yourself, 
Let's say your meter or your oil begins to begins to grow as well. And so when then those hits that used to, those little five, let's say those five hits, used to come, you'd be able to take them now because you already mm-hmm. oil, because you already stretch yourself. Mm-hmm. You have an abundance of oil. Mm-hmm. Right? Stretch. And I also understand this, that after you um, fought yourself through in the spiritual, your spiritual, because of what you fought through, has then created a structure that will then take place in the natural to be able to take those hits. Let's say um, money, financial issue. Your, your breakthrough, your push through in the spiritual has then created a produce, a product in the natural, as in promotion, as in business. Because then you have already put in the labor in the in the spiritual to then take place of the financial situations that you was going through to then produce um, a promotion or a business that will then counteract yes. that um, that hit from the financial. Yes. Yes. Or it could also be something that's a battle of the mind. Yes. Yes. It could be something that's your job, where you're currently located, or where you're established at. It's a lot of confusion coming in. A lot of things battling the mind that you have to deal with. A lot of things, negative thoughts that you have to That's contend with. Spiritual entities yes. you have to contend with. Yes. Where you at? So all he simply does is transfer you from one location to the next. But don't get lost in that transformation. Yes. Yes. Let me give you an example. Um, y'all, some of you know I got a big pie. And over the years, that recipe changed. Um, so my apples, I used to get the biggest ones, the ones that looked the prettiest, and the ones that, um, that the type of flavor that I was looking for. Well, over the time, I, I, uh, I was gifted a machine that will um, peel it, peel the apple, core the apple, and slice the apple all in one dog. So then what I started to do is use that machine. But as I started using it, I realized that those hard apples that I used to use, mm-hmm. they get stuck and jammed in the machine. Uh-huh. They didn't want to go through. I would then have to take time, back it up, take it off, fix it, and clean it, and go again. So I said, all right, let me, let me stay away from the two hard apples. Let <laughs> me get the soft apples. <laughs> so I put the soft apples, tried that. They would get too, they'd get too mushy. They wouldn't hold their shape after the process. Mm. So I had to find something that's right in between. Right in not between. too hard, not too soft, mm. because it had to go through the process. Yeah. 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 It's good. Yeah. Yes. Now as I did that, I also found sometimes I might find scars or bruises on them as well. Right. Well, that's not the whole apple, is it? Right. Oh, yeah. I'm able to cut away those scars, cancel out those bruises, because as long as it can get to the process, I can still use it. Come on. That's good right there. Who can go through the process? That's a good word. That's a good word. So what we realize is that as we fight and contend with the spiritual, it will then kind of um, produce in the natural what the contention against, uh, the opposite of what the contention was. Mm-hmm. But we got to remember to keep stretching because we can't become comfortable. Yeah, that's, right. that's where we lose out. Yeah. Yes. We stretch. And then once we make it, we're like, all right. Woo! <laughs> Thank you, Lord. I know the it's a season, but then it's time to stretch some more. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Let me, um, Give you an example. Bubble works out, right? Tell me, is it hurt when you start working and pressing the weights? It hurts, it's pain, right? Tell me what takes place when you start getting comfortable with that weight. What do you do next? Huh? Push through. Push through. And when you start, let's say you had um, let's say you had a hundred weight and you start doing that, no problem. What do you do next? Increase the weight. So when he got comfortable, it pre- increased the weight. And when he started increasing the weight more and more, it produced results. Yeah. 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 So you have to go through pain, 
When you got comfortable, you added more weight. And when you got comfortable then, you added more weight. And then I got to the point then, now I'm sure you put, now when you first started, you can go back to that weight that you first started now since you went well past it and it's like what now? Nothing. Nothing. So what you went through before, after you stretched. Come on, and stretched, that's good. And that's stretched, good word. That you went through before is nothing. What is that? And as you keep stretching, what is that? <laughs> you ain't taking my joy. You ain't taking my oil. You ain't have to come back from that because I'm gonna keep stretching. Come on now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> 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 what is that? <laughs> and I will say this. One of the things, a few things is um. We keep you from getting complacent and comfortable. Even in working out, he has a spot. Ah. Who do we have accountable to us? I know when I leave this place and on my way home, I know I'm gonna have somebody staring at my side like this. <laughs> you know, if we talk that talk, what is what we gonna do now starting today when we get home to keep you from getting comfortable? I know that's right. I already know it. So I said, all right, so you want me to get this, and you're going to know what I'm going to get in return. So like, okay, Lord. So we got to have somebody accountable. We got to keep each other accountable. Okay? We really do. And it works so well because when you're in a place that pushes you, yes. that pushes you to get yes. out of your zone. It was just last week, Pastor said, another Pastor said, push through the worship. Get out of here. He said, then he said, um, do something you don't, you don't ever do. Yes. Yes. There were so many things in this house I was able to do things I've never done. Push myself just in worship alone. And even in that, didn't feel judged for it. Right. Mm-hmm. Right. Didn't feel judged. And even if I did, that's just something else that I need to work on. Yes. Uh-huh. That, that's all that would be. Because everybody ain't going to see the way you see. That's fine. Right. But what is that? What is that? Yeah, I already stressed myself past that. <laughs> Who does that? (laughs) So, as I I close, (laughs) um, yeah, so as I close, just, it's good, it's good to, when you finally push past something, overcame something, it's good to take up, you know, to be like, I believe you. It's good. It feels so good. It's good to catch your breath. Just don't stay there. Yeah. All right? Keep pushing. Keep pressing. Keep going in. Okay?